There's no doubt that the automotive industry is highly dynamic. With the prime requirement to meet stringent standards and reduce the time to market, Autosar is driving advancements in software to keep pace with constantly evolving vehicle technology. Autosar's architecture takes a comprehensive and modular approach, overcoming commonly faced challenges that come with developing software. With Autosar, developers can now reuse, scale, exchange, interoperate, and modify their software without much hassle. It has a layered architecture that abstracts hardware from application software. The Autosar architecture includes the basic software layer, the runtime environment layer, and the application layer. These are like building blocks that make up the entirety of the architecture. Let's briefly go through each layer to understand more on their role in the overall architecture as well as how each one is fundamental in the smooth operation of software in vehicles. The basic software layer, or BSW, is the bottommost layer of Autosar's architecture and lays the foundation for the rest of the software components in the system. It takes care of essential services like memory management, input-output abstraction, and operating system functions, ensuring that the software operates as per the functional requirements. It also abstracts the application software from the hardware to enhance portability and interoperability, which as we know, is a crucial requirement in automotive electronic control units. This layer encompasses the service layer, ECU abstraction layer, microcontroller abstraction layer, and the complex device drivers layer. At the core of the basic software module is the microcontroller abstraction layer, which is crucial in hosting internal drivers that directly communicate with microcontrollers and their internal peripherals. This layer's primary objective is to abstract higher software levels from the microcontroller operations. It achieves this by establishing a standardized communication approach that aligns with the specific microcontroller in use. While it relies on the microcontroller's specifications, it serves as a bridge connecting higher software layers and the underlying hardware. The microcontroller abstraction layer is dependent on the microcontroller. The ECU abstraction layer serves as an intermediary that bridges the gap between the microcontroller abstraction layer's drivers and the functionalities of external devices like communication modules. By offering an application programming interface, the ECU abstraction layer gives peripherals and devices within the system access to software, regardless of their physical location. This layer aims to abstract the higher software layers from the specifics of the ECU hardware in order to ensure adaptability and portability. By providing a standardized interface to the higher layers, the ECU abstraction layer enables independent functionalities from both the microcontroller and ECU hardware layers. Complex device drivers, as you can see, extend over the length of the hardware to the runtime environment. These drivers have the capacity to seamlessly integrate specialized functionalities, such as legacy codes and timing critical functions. A defining aspect of complex device drivers is their implementation, which can be influenced by diverse factors such as the application, microcontroller specifications, and ECU hardware specifics. These drivers provide a standardized interface to higher layers, offering consistency and coherence. This interface is designed to cater to various scenarios, including applications and microcontroller variations, ultimately ensuring a harmonious connection between intricate hardware nuances and higher-level software functionalities. At the very top of the BSW layer is the service layer, which is responsible for offering essential base software modules and services to applications within the application layer. This layer remains independent of the specific electronic control unit, ECU, hardware and microcontroller. The service layer oversees functions such as memory services, diagnostic services, vehicle network communications, 
and management, ECU state management, and operating system support. Moreover, it plays a significant role in managing the access of software to input-output signals in order to ensure effective interaction between software and hardware. The runtime environment layer is situated between the basic software layer and the application layer. It carefully manages tasks such as scheduling, resource allocation, and communication between software components. This layer plays an essential role in ensuring seamless cooperation among diverse functionalities while making the software component portable across different ECUs. By separating the complexities of real-time execution, the runtime environment layer empowers developers to focus on high-level application logic without being too concerned about hardware complexities. In the Autosar architecture, the application layer is at the very top and plays a crucial role in defining the high-level behavior of the vehicle's software system. It encompasses the diverse range of vehicle-specific applications and features from the engine management system to advanced driver assistance functionalities. This layer encapsulates the intelligence that makes vehicles smarter, safer, and more user-friendly. By providing a standardized framework for designing and integrating applications, the application layer ensures seamless collaboration between different functionalities within the vehicle. Hardware is the block upon which software components operate. It encompasses the physical components within a vehicle, such as microcontrollers, sensors, actuators, communication interfaces, and more. The hardware's role is to provide the necessary physical interfaces for software, to interact with the real world, enabling functionalities, ranging from engine control to safety systems. Autosar ensures the efficient interaction, between software and hardware through abstraction layers like the microcontroller abstraction layer, which abstracts software from hardware intricacies. Ultimately, the integration of hardware within Autosar guarantees that software instructions translate into tangible actions in order to drive the operation and performance of modern vehicles. It's evident that the Autosar architecture stands as a remarkable framework with a layered structure offering a systematic approach to managing complexity, promoting modularity, and ensuring portability across diverse electronic control units. By seamlessly integrating software components through well-defined interfaces and abstraction layers, Autosar empowers the automotive industry to create safer, more efficient, and technologically advanced vehicles for the future.